next topic is stiffening of the shell plating now stiffening of the shell plating depends on the framing systems which are used now framing system may be longitudinal transverse or mixed framing system now longitudinal framing system will include the stiffenings to be done in the longitudinal direction and the transverse uh, framing system will include the stiffening to be done in the transverse direction and mixed framing system will include the stiffening uh, both the stiffenings uh, can be done uh, within the mixed so mixed will include both longitudinal framing system as well as your transverse framing system then comes within longitudinal framing system the stiffeners that uh, which are used can either be bulb angle or t section now look at the figure over here the bulb section would look something like this this is the your bulb stiffener okay then comes your angle stiffener now angle angle section would look like this in which this section is called the web and this section is called the flange then comes your T section the same way this is called the web and this is called the flange in the T section now let's look at the framing how the framing is done and how will it uh, the longitudinal framing would look on a ship considering this as the ship the longitudinal framing over here would look something like this okay Longitudinal framing system is also known as the Isherwood system. Now, this was patented in 1906 uh, by uh, Mr. Joseph Isherwood. So, longitudinal framing system, as the name suggests, it provides for longitudinal stiffening of the ship and provides for compensation of the longitudinal uh, uh, stresses, which are your bending moment and shearing forces in the longitudinal direction which act on the ship. So, the longitudinal framing system uh, helps in compensating for these stresses. Now let's see how the longitudinal framing system uh, works and uh, what are the parts present and what are the stiffening members which are used in longitudinal stiffening of a ship. Now this is a diagram of a single hull uh, tanker and let's see the parts which are present. Now uh, in longitudinal framing system you may have a center girder, you may have side girders, you, ha you may have intercoastal girders also present, I have not shown it in this diagram. Then you have bottom longitudinal, you have side longitudinals, you have uh, deck longitudinals which are present, they provide for longitudinal strengthening and stiffening. Then uh, we have transverse web, we have bottom transverse and deck transverse which are present. Then this is your center, uh, the center girder which uh, continues with the uh, your center bulkhead, okay? And you have side bulkheads, these are your side bulkheads. These are your side bulkheads. So they provide for uh, longitudinal stiffening and longitudinal strength in the longitudinal framing system. So the survey may ask you, uh, now the longitudinal framing system is also uh, used usually on long, longer ships because uh, longer ships usually of 100 meters and more in length as they provide for better strengthening. Now why more than 100 meters? Because it was but the past experiences and tests showed that when transverse framing system was used on such kind of a ship which is longer in length so the ship used to buckle down and break okay so in order to compensate for it they uh, saw to it that uh, the longitudinal framing system was acting uh, much much better so the longitudinal framing system uh, well compensated for the longitudinal bending movement and shearing forces and uh, hence the system is used for ships of 100 meters and more in length Next topic is transverse framing. Now in transverse framing the stiffeners are in the transverse direction and the stiffeners which are used in transverse framing may be bulb, angle or T section. Now what happens in transverse framing is the transverse frames are joined with the uh, your deck beams. Okay, So deck beams and transverse frames are joined uh, with the help of knee bracket. I will show you in the diagram. Then deep frames are used in the machinery space to provide for transverse strengthening. The deep frames are also known as your web frames. Let's see how the transverse framing looks. 
Now, transverse framing system, as the name suggests, it is the framing system which helps to stiffen the ship in the transverse direction. Okay, so where uh, where all is the transverse framing system required? Is uh, usually ships of less than one twenty meters in length because where the relative longitudinal uh, bending moment is less. Okay, so where the uh, uh, longitudinal bending moment is more, there we have your longitudinal framing system. Now, so. Uh, the past experience has shown that ships of less than 120 meters in length are usually fitted with transverse framing systems. Okay, so transverse framing system is uh, wherein the uh, stiffeners are placed in the transverse direction, that is, upward ship direction or breadth wise. Okay, so what are these stiffening members? Let's have a look. We have deck beams, we have your uh, beam knee, we have side frames, then you have twin deck, then you have Twin deck beam knee, uh, twin deck beam knee, knee bracket, then again side frame, then uh, margin plate, oh, sorry, the uh, margin bracket, this is the margin plate and the floor. So these are the structures which provide for transfer strengthening of the ship. And uh, as you can see, the uh, deck beam is connected to the side, uh, side frame with the help of your beam knee. Okay, so beam knee helps in dissipating the stresses. So these structures help to compensate for the transfer stresses. Transfer stresses are those uh, your torsional stresses and raking stresses. These are the uh, your transfer stresses. So they compensate for it as well as your uh, uh, bulkheads when placed in the transverse direction. Uh, they also provide for the transfer strengthening. Now remember bulkheads when placed in the vertical direction or the longitudinal direction, they provide for longitudinal strengthening as you have seen in the longitudinal framing system. So this is all about your transverse framing system. And here the frames or the stiffness are provided in the transverse direction and they form a part of the transverse framing system. Friends, in mixed framing system what will happen is at some places transverse framing system would be used and at some places in the ship structure your longitudinal framing system would be used. The combined framing system itself means that they are combining the advantages of the your uh, transverse framing system as well as the longitudinal framing system. So this system may also be called as your mixed framing system. Now, as you, you can see over here, some of the stiffeners are placed in the transverse direction as well as some of the stiffeners which are used in the longitudinal direction. They provide for both transverse and longitudinal strengthening. Now this kind of a framing system is used in the ships of intermediate lengths. Okay. So, uh, as well as it depends on the uh, requirement in the construction, the principal construction, constructional requirement of the ship. So, usually uh, in uh, your general cargo and in oil tankers also, you can have such kind of a construction, but uh, your twin decks won't be present in oil tankers. Now, uh, see over here what all is present. Now, you have deck girders, then you have deck longitudinals. You have a uh, uh, knee bracket, side uh, side frames. Now this line, uh, this uh, this dotted lining, which what you are seeing over here, is nothing but it is the flange which is present on the other side. Okay, so this and this, this is the flange which is present. Uh, so the side frame has a flange, hence this dotted line. Then you have your twin deck. This is twin deck longitudinals, twin deck girder. This is the knee bracket, another knee bracket, this is the flow in the transverse direction. Now these are bottom longitudinals, inner bottom longitudinals. Now these, these are side girders, this is the center girder. And this dotted line what you are seeing over here is the intercoastal girder. Intercoastal girders are those girders which are not continuous. They, have, they are broken in middle and uh, they continue. In middle flows are present or your deck may be present. So those are your intercoastal girders. Then uh, yes, and the long these uh, as you can see the structure is stiffened longitudinally in the deck as well as in the bottom. Okay, so longitudinal strengthening with the help of longitudinal stiffener, stiffeners are provided uh, on the deck as well as uh, in the bottom, and more of the uh, side stiffening or your transfer stiffening is provided at the sides. Because your uh, usually the longitudinal stresses, your torsional, your uh, longitudinal bending moment and shearing forces would act in the longitudinal direction. They mostly act on the top and bottom is where uh, your longitudinal stresses mostly act. 
Hence, to compensate for it, the structure is uh, stiffened longitudinally in the uh, on the decks as well as at the bottom, and transversely uh, at the sides. So this is a combined framing system. So moving on to our next topic, which is frame spacing and frame space. Now these terms are very confusing when a surveyor asks you what is frame spacing and what is the frame space. He may just ask you and you may uh, give the answer and vice versa. So remember frame spacing, it is the space between two frames, which is called uh, uh, frame spacing. It is the space between two transverse frames. And uh, what is frame space? Now frame space is the space which is provided for the frame to be put in. That is your frame space. So friends, the difference between frame space and frame spacing is as follows. Now look at the figure over here. Now the space provided for this frame to be put in over here is called as frame space. And the spacing between these two frames is called your frame spacing.